good morning dear students welcome to our abstract algebra class this is the core paper for first msc mathematics i am dr j john flavia assistant professor department of mathematics jj college of arts and science pudukottai today we are going to see the topic 2.11 the another counting principle we discuss about the theorem 2.11.2 the theorem statement is if order of g equal to p power n where p is a prime number then center of g that is capital z of g not equal to single cent singleton set e the statement is also stated that a group of prime power order must always have a non trivial center before we see the proof of the theorem we need some basic definitions center of g the center capital z of g of a group g is the set of all a belongs to g such that ax equal to xa for all x belongs to g that is center of g is denoted by capital z of g equal to we consider the own set capital z of g we collect the element a belongs to g which element satisfy the condition a x equal to x a for all x belongs to g next we see the definition normalizer of a normalizer of a is denoted by capital n of a we collect the set x belongs to g such that x a equal to a x for all a belongs to g this set is called the normalizer of a next one we see the class equation the class equation is order of g equal to summation overall order of g divided by order of n of a this is called the class equation the another form of class equation is order of g equal to summation overall a belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a plus summation overall a not belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a okay next we see the proof of the theorem here given order of g equal to p power n p is a prime number if a belongs to g we know that normalizer of a is a subgroup of g here we use the lagrange's theorem what is the lagrange's theorem if g is a group and h is a subgroup of g then order of h divides order of g here g is a group n of a is a subgroup of g then we can apply the lagrange's theorem we get order of n of a divides order of g we know that order of g equal to p power n substitute these values order of n of a divides p power n here we take the order of n of a equal to p power n a so apply the apply this value p power n a divides p power n we already study in the number theory a divides b implies modulus a less than or equal to modulus b we use this result we have p power n a less than or equal to p power n this implies n a less than or equal to n that is 1 less than or equal to n a less than or equal to n next we assume a belongs to z suppose the element a belongs to center of g we already have the result a belongs to z if and only if n of a equal to g 
if g is finite comma a belongs to z if and only if order of n of a equal to order of g here we assume that the element a belongs to center of g so we get the result order of g equal to order of n of a order of g value p power n order of n of a value p power n a so p power n equal to p power n a we get n equal to n a next we use the class equation order of g equal to summation over a belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a plus summation over a not belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a here order of g value equal to order of n of a so first summation cancel we get the value 1 so summation a belongs to z into 1 plus summation a not belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a we calculate the first summation value a belongs to z we summing over all the element a belongs to z we get suppose z is a set of all a1 a2 up to etc a n elements so order of z equal to n we find out order of g divided by order of n of a n of a1 so we get 1 next order of g divided by order of n of a2 we get 1 next we order of g divided by order of n of a3 we get the result 1 summing over all this value we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus up to etc n times because the set z of g contains n elements so 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to etc n terms so we get n equal to n n equal to order of z of g so first summation value we get order of z of g plus summation a naught belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a here we assume order of z of g equal to z uh, that is the center of g contain z elements so order of g value p power n order of z of g equal to small z plus a summation overall a naught belongs to z order of g divided by order of n of a next we find out suppose a naught belongs to z suppose the element not in center of g what the result we get suppose the element not equal not belongs to center of g from the previous lemma order of n of a not equal to order of g so p power n a not equal to p power n we get n a not equal to n already we see the relation n a less than or equal to n here we get the result n a not equal to n so what is the uh, relation between n a and the n n a strictly less than n so we apply the result p power n equal to z plus summation overall a not belongs to z we get the inequality n a less than n p power n divide p power n a so next we simplify this term p power n equal to z plus summation overall n a less than n we take the denominator term to numerator we get p power n minus n a so we get the result z from this we get z equal to p power n minus summation n a less than n p power n minus n a we know that p device p power n so p device p power n minus n a p also device the summation overall n a less than n p power n minus n a so number theory um, concept a device b comma a device c implies a device bx plus cy using this result p device p power n a p device summation n a less than n p power n minus n a combine this value p device p power n minus summation n a less than n p power n minus n a p power n 
minus summation n a less than n p power n minus n a value is z already we find the value z so apply this value p divides n z here z is the order of center of g so p divides order of z of g this implies p less than or equal to order of z of g so order of z of g greater than or equal to p p is a prime number here the author use the prime number uh, take the values greater than 2 so we order of z of g equal greater than 1 from this result what we conclude that the center of z is the set that contains the elements other than the identity element since e belongs to z of g z not equal to 0 thus z is the positive integer divisible by the prime number p therefore the elements z greater than 1 therefore z of g not equal to single sen singleton set e we conclude that the center of g contains more elements other than the identity element so this is the proof of theorem 2.11.2 thank you dear students we see the next class